the Golden Dagger. It's a flat brush, it's crimped flat, so you can use it on its side to create some very, very small fine lines, or you can use it flat with the wider section and get a lovely wide stroke. It has a good reservoir, so it will last a long time because it's a natural haired brush. Let's get some more green on this. Well, you can also draw with the brush and create some quite lovely shapes on the paper, so leaves and things. Because it's got that lovely shape, it's, it's not a symmetrical brush, of course, so it means you've got a straight part and you've got a rounded part. So it's either flat, either way, it's either flat and narrow or flat and wide. It isn't a round brush, it's crimped flat. So the shapes that you get are very much due to the way you turn and twist the brush, you will get different shapes. But it really is, and it, it a lot of liquid on the brush, and again, if you're dropping in colour, if I get some turquoise on this and just touch it, you'll see you can drop in very neatly in area, so, you, so it's, not, it's not going to flood in. Because it's a natural head brush, it will release just as much pigment as you want just by touching the paper. If I want more pigment, I just press a little bit harder. But what's not happening, unlike a synthetic brush which drops the colour out, this doesn't, it controls it. So you've got incredible control. It's just a fabulous, fabulous brush. So it's called the dagger, the golden dagger.